Hey my loved ones, welcome back to my channel. So this tutorial is called Blue My Mind featuring Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette. And yes, I am feeling the blue. So if you guys want to see how I create this look, then stay tuned. First, I'm going to take my NYX um, eyeshadow primer and prime my eyes. And I'm just going to place it all over my lid and blend it out with my finger. The first color I'm going to take is from the Lime Crime Venus Palette. It is called Creation. It is like this burnt orange and I'm going to place this in the crease as my transitional shade. Next for my eyebrow highlight, I'm going to use this NYX in eyeshadow this is called blaming on the midnight and I'm just going to place this under my brow with a Sonia Kashik brush I'm going to take my makeup forever flash palette and I'm going to use this beautiful cobalt or cobalt blue and I'm just going to use this as a base I'm going to place that all on my lid um, avoiding the place where I put the eyeshadow and this is just going to give the eyeshadow something to stick to now I'm going to take my Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette and I'm going to use this beautiful, beautiful blue in the palette which is called Velour and I'm just going to place that on the on top of the base, on top of the Makeup Forever base. But for some reason I thought this blue was a little too dark so I'm going to lighten it up with another eyeshadow. The next blue I'm going to take is from my Beauty's Factory palette and this is custom made and I'm just going to use this beautiful blue right here because I didn't want a navy blue look. I wanted more of a bright blue look to go with the lip gloss that I'm going to apply at the end. I'm just going to place that on top of the Kat Von D Velour eyeshadow. So I'm going to take this color out of the Lime Crime palette which is Creation and I'm just going to blend out the blue with that transitional shade. I'm just going to clean up the fallout with this Real Techniques Mini Complexion Sponge. And I'm just going to clean up the blue eyeshadow, even though it kind of smeared it some. I'm going to cover it up with some concealer later on. Now I'm going to take this L'Oreal, no, this is the Revlon pencil. This one is in Aquamarine. And I'm just going to place this on the waterline. So I'm going to go back into the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I'm going to take this Aquamarine color right here and I'm just going to place this on the lower lash line as a base for the next eyeshadow that I'm going to apply. So I'm going to go in with this Coastal Scent Summer Breeze Palette which is my first time using it. I'm going to take this aqua color right here. It has a little bit of shimmer in it and I'm just going to place that on top of the um, Makeup Forever um, the Makeup Forever base. I guess that's what that you could want to call it. So now I'm going to take my NYX Duo Contour Highlighting um, 
concealer duo and I'm just going to use the highlighting side to highlight this is in the color chestnut and I'm just going to place it under my eyes on my cupid's bow my nose and of course my forehead the usual Sasha Buttercup and I'm going to use the Real Techniques um, complexion sponge to achieve that. set the rest of my face with these Ben Nye powders this is cheap chestnut and sienna mix and I'm just going to place that all over the face and it, it was a little too much I should have dusted off in my trash can but I didn't so I'm just going to blend that out and I really like to customize my Ben Nye powders as you can see is the perfect perfect shade take my black radiance contour palette this one is in the medium dark and I'm going to take the darkest shade to contour with some blush to take today I'm going to take my sleek blush palette and this is in the color Sahara and I haven't used my sleek blushes in a long time and I'm just going to apply this above the contour <music> For 
the highlight I'm going to use my city colors highlight palette I'm gonna use this color right here and I'm just going to place that on the highest point of my cheekbones with this morphe um, fan brush to use this lip gloss this is made by pout paint and it didn't have the color on the actual um, lip the lip the lip liquid lipstick it was on the packaging and I threw it away so I do not know what the color is but you can find this in your Walgreens over there by the Halloween makeup and I'm just going to apply this to my lips and blend it on out Okay, ladies so that is the final look I hope you guys like it don't forget to sub subscribe and also share this video and I talk to you guys real real soon bye